Blood flow restriction uh, is a kind of therapy, uh, uh, it's a treatment technique, whatever you want to call it, but it's a, a way to use the body's physiology um, in a way to make strength gains and muscle hypertrophy, right, make your muscles bigger um, with using a really light weight. And so the reason why this works is, let's say I'm curling uh, a small amount of weight here, right? I got, I'm curling 10 pounds, right? Nowhere near the stimulus needed to, to actually make strength gains. Um, the reason why we actually have strength gains is when if I'm curling a 20 pound dumbbell, to, uh, conversely, right, this is a, a level or a, for me, <laughs> maybe not for you, but a level for me where it's, it's a strong enough weight or a high enough weight where, um, I'm gonna feel it, right? For 10 or 15 reps, I'm gonna be like, man, I'm really feeling this. Uh, probably more like 10 reps for me. Um, and the reason why I feel it is that I, my muscles are working so hard that it's starting, and it is, occluding blood flow, right? It is stopping blood flow in that area. So our body responds, our muscles respond to this lack of blood flow by saying, hey, we need to get stronger, right? We need to, a, a, get stronger, A, get bigger, or excuse me, A, get stronger, B, get bigger, and right, adapt to these changes. So that way, next time I do 20 pounds, I'm like, oh, maybe it doesn't occlude as much blood. And then, right, I, my body's like, hey, you can handle more weight. And I'm like, oh, cool, let's go 25 pounds now. And now I think I'm a, I'm a cool guy because now, now I can curl 25 for 10 reps. But the point is, we can manipulate this and use blood flow restriction to lift a pretty, pretty light weight and get a very similar response and similar dosage to what we typically would have to do with twice the weight or, or three times the weight. So what I mean is for the upper extremity, um, I'm gonna use, this as a Saga uh, blood flow restriction cuff. I'm a big fan of Saga because it actually hooks up to your iPhone and it's, it's super, super easy. So when we're doing this for the upper extremity, it's gonna be 50% of, of our actual blood pressure of the diastolic uh, of our blood pressure. So, or excuse me, the systolic of our blood pressure. So mine is, is 120 over 80, generally that's what it is. So this is actually gonna test my blood pressure, it's gonna pre-test it, then it's gonna say, hey, right, you're 120 over 80, we're gonna inflate this cuff 60 millimeters of mercury. So it's gonna include half of the blood, and then I can go into my, uh, my exercise that we're gonna talk about in a second, into my reps and, and how I do this. And also, just so you guys know, hey, that's not just for, right? The uh, it's not just for for muscles below this, right? If I have something going on, you can wrap it around the biceps and still do overhead pressing or rowing type of exercise, and you have to have a shoulder issue. The same effects will still translate, right? Even though yes, I'm stopping the blood here, the benefits will still translate up the chain to the rotator cuff, the shoulder muscles, right? The, the, the trapezius, all these muscles, just because you're cutting off blood flow here, doesn't mean you're not gonna have an effect up the chain. So, I'm gonna get on my phone here. We're gonna get started, and I'm just gonna find the cuffs quick. Um, I have another one here. If this one doesn't sink, I'll grab the other one quick. Uh, well, I gotta turn the other one on. Wait, wait a minute, there we go. Wasn't on, that would probably help. I'm gonna search again. So once it finds it, all right, we're gonna be able to, uh, yep, use this one. We just got the one right now, so we'll do it on the arm. So guys, it's super easy, walks you right through it. This is why I love it, makes my life easy. I'm a big fan of it. So we're gonna use the one, and the goal here is I'm gonna re, uh, excuse me, reinflate it. And let me see, we're gonna edit this. Let's recalibrate. So all I'm gonna do is just, I'm gonna hang out here with my shoulder by my side as it recalibrates. It's doing something. So it's inflating and it's testing to say, hey, what is my systolic blood pressure, right? It's gonna test and say, hey, when do I get to the point where there's no blood, it's cutting off the blood supply to my arm. So as we wait, let this little thing, let, us do it, let it do its thing. That feels just about where it's supposed to be. It's getting there. Basically when we're doing this, you wanna be nice and relaxed, right? It just let off just in time too. So my blood pressure is 60, or excuse me, my it's, it's 120. So for me, it's like, hey, we're gonna bring you to, to 60 when we cut this off, which is fantastic. So calibrated it, it knows what my systolic blood pressure is in real time, right? It's not like we took this data a week ago. It knows exactly what it is. So when, what we're gonna do now is, we're gonna go through the protocol. This is time and tested uh, in the literature. And guys, a lot of my athletes, so who do I use this with is a great question. A lot of professional athletes, 
use blood, blood flow restriction when they're bouncing between games. I say, hey, they don't have time to hit the weight room. They might have a small dumbbell on their back or a kettlebell and say, hey, or maybe the gym of the hotel, they can slap these on their hips or their, their, their arm here, hit the gym, use some pretty light weights, and get some pretty darn good uh, stimulus from that. Um, and also, who do I use this with? Someone who who's definitely might benefit from having some quick strength gains, especially somebody who has some pain in a joint that can't handle a lot of load. So for instance, if you have low back pain and like, hey, our goal is to get a little bit stronger here or knee pain when you squat, but we wanna improve the strength of the, of the quads, the hamstrings, of the muscles around the knee, we can use a blood flow restriction to make these strength gains, to give the stimulus with a very low weight. So typically, again, it takes about 70% of your one rep max, your one RM, to have these strength gains to cut off that blood supply. With the cuff, you need less than half of that. You need 20 to 30% of your one rep max, which for me is this 12 pound <laughs> dumbbell, which is a super, super, super light for me to pick up. But as you're gonna see in a second, it's gonna get pretty heavy once we start to once we start this uh, blood flow restriction uh, session here. So uh, what I'm gonna do, we're gonna go to, yeah, we'll do this. We're gonna confirm it. We're gonna begin the workout. So this is gonna inflate, give it one second. So it makes, a, it makes an awesome sound, inflates right up. So now, the first set, uh, it's gonna be 30. Not, it doesn't have to be 30. The goal is, I'm just gonna do a bench press for a test, but the goal is, hey, we're gonna do as many as it takes to fatigue, whether it's the shoulder, the arm, whatever we're going for here, until I hit muscle fatigue. So this is probably about six. We're just gonna keep going until I get too tired <laughs> to continue, which is probably gonna be, it actually might be a little bit before 30. I've done this before and I, I get to like 27. I'm like, dude, I am dead. It's about 13 if I'm counting correctly. 15. <sighs> there's gonna be watching me doing a bunch of dumbbell presses today, <laughs> unfortunately. But there's a reason for it. <sighs> Already getting pretty tired. 19, 20, <sighs> one. Twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. I can do a couple more, but I'm pretty darn tired. I'll do thirty two. So, so now what we're gonna do? I'm gonna take a thirty second break. So the protocol is: Hey, coming on for. Um, or do that for 30 seconds, excuse me, uh, have a 30 second break, then do 15, uh, 30 second break again, 15, 30 second break, 15. And the goal is we're just trying to fatigue our arm, right? Fatigue uh, uh, the muscles here, uh, because right, that's the goal of blood flow restriction is to use a super lightweight and fatigue it. And we're gonna go in five seconds. Three, two, one. And now we're gonna do a set of 15, which I'm gonna be pretty dead for, but we're gonna give it a shot. Eleven, twelve. <laughs> this is getting tough. Fourteen. Uh, fifteen. All right, thirty-second break. Whew. All right, so we have two more sets left. I'll probably cut it short a little bit. But again, we're going for around three to four sets of this. And again, I just want to get this muscle fatigue. Right? I just want to make myself tired. Um, so tired by using the super lightweight. I'll do one more set for you guys. I just don't want you to watch me do this a million times, but we use this at Alpha Project Physio, something we use with a lot of our patients, especially right if you're post-op from something and we need to make some strength gains. This is a fantastic way to make these strength gains with a super, super lightweight. Again, this is, I think uh, it's, it's, it's five kilograms, which is just about 12, uh, 12 pounds. So it's a fantastic, it's, I mean, this is super lightweight for me, um, but a fantastic way and I'm already feeling pretty tired from it. Um, again, to make these gains um, in a way that is safe for a joint, especially one that has gone through um, a surgery, like a knee replacement or an ACL reconstruction or something along those lines. 
um, that we, we want to respect protocols and respect that healing tissue, but still want to make some strength gains. So then it also has implications. All right, we'll take a break from it. It has implications on right ankle sprain. If you sprained your ankle and you're like, hey, I'll we'll finish it up. So finish the session, it will deflate, and it'll be good to go. Uh, so again, guys, a fantastic way to, um, to, to have muscle strength, to have muscle gains without really using a lot of weight. And I'm, I'm not a huge guy um, <laughs> by any means, but I felt the burn on this uh, uh, pretty, again, only 12 pounds. Felt the, I felt the burn on that pretty, pretty intensely and pretty strongly just from the, uh, uh, the buffer restriction that we were using. And guys, this is, again, this is something we use all the time in Alpha Project Physio uh, and Performance uh, on our patients. So if you're interested in that or have more questions on blood flow restriction, hey, leave a comment, um, send us a DM. I'd love to hear from you guys. And uh, thanks for listening.